Hey kiddos, time for the daily bread. The Lord collects your prayers, your good works, and one more thing. Do you remember what it is? Let's hear today's track. Daily track 529, Luke chapter 7, verse 38. And standing behind him beside his feet, she began to wash his feet with tears. And she wiped them with her hair of her head. And she kissed his feet and she anointed them with ointment. Kids, so yesterday we talked about Jesus going to this Pharisee's house, right? So this is supposed to be like a holy meeting here. And um, this sinner comes in and she has this ointment that she brought and she starts. Um, so in those days, you know, you, you'd uh, wash your feet just like you would wash your hands today. In those days, you wash your feet. And so instead of getting like a bucket of water, she actually uses her tears. She is weeping that much because she knows she's a sinner. She knows she needs God's grace and, and, and his mercy. And so she uses her tears instead of a bucket of water to wash Jesus's feet with her hair instead of like a rag or something. And, um, oh yeah, the thing that uh, God collects, he also collects your tears. Um, so, and, and that's because he feels your pain. He feels um, your needs, things that, that really get to you. And so he collects those. Anyhow, so this, um, this woman, this sinner, is cleaning Jesus' feet with her tears and her hair. And after um, Jesus' feet, is, is they're clean, then she puts ointment and um, ointment on his feet, which ointment is very expensive. Right. And so the the question now becomes is what does this Pharisee think about all this? Right. There's first of all a sinner in the Pharisee's house. You know, that's crazy. Why why would a man of God let this happen? Right. And so tomorrow we're gonna find out exactly what this Pharisee is is thinking. The Pharisees are thinking, um, when they see this woman doing this to Jesus. And then the other part of it is Jesus is allowing it. So we'll see what they think tomorrow. God bless. Love you.